Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the SH Figure Arts Buzz Lightyear Alpha Suit. And I wonder if this means we're going to get other suits in this line, we shall see. But taking a look at the front, we can see that the figures showcase in your standard SH Figure Arts window box packaging, with a great image of Buzz at the bottom. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's go ahead and crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at this new Buzz Lightyear figure. Now this is something that I've honestly wanted just for a very, very long time. Uh, even before this movie was ever even announced. I've always wanted just a really cool, badass-looking Buzz Lightyear figure. You know, um, and the, the Buzz Lightyear suit design itself, always thought it looked pretty cool from the original movie uh, slash toy design. I always thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, and I always knew that it could have a really awesome modern take. That's something I've been wanting just for, like, forever. Uh, I also know McFarlane came out with a really cool, you know, pretty modern look for Buzz 2 uh, that I always picked up. But well, as soon as I saw that this was going to be announced and this was going to be coming out, I just said, nah, I'm not even going to bother with the McFarlane one, because this is exactly what I was looking for. And in my opinion, honestly, SH Figuarts killed it with this piece. And honestly, this is just one of the best SH Figuarts figure, figures that I've had in a very long time, because I honestly stopped collecting SH Figuarts. Uh, because I just was not interested in their line anymore. It just, it, it, in my opinion, the stuff, the, the, the quality and stuff like that went down. Uh, this guy is bringing me back, man. So I'm super happy about this. So starting off with the head sculpt here first, uh, I think it looks so good, man. The eyes look great. The brow looks intense. Uh, there is a slight rosiness to the cheeks. I don't know if you can kind of tell that they're on the camera. I think it looks great. Uh, he has his, does have his cow or as almost around like a balaclava. Uh, but I love how it's like two-tone purple. If you can kind of see that, my camera would actually decide to focus. Uh, but it has the two-tone purples on there, which look pretty good. More of a lighter purple on the outsides, and more of a darker purple running down the back to the uh, top there, looking really, really nice. Uh, but the whole suit here just looks really good, man. Again, I love how they gave it this modern take, but still looks like that vintage design. Even down to like the suit detailing. I think it looks great. You see the little light ear badge or their name tag right there. Uh, whatever this tank is, the little logo for Star Command, the little buttons right here again, those three colors just like the vintage toy. Uh, I do like the green used here. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but it still looks pretty accurate to the movie itself. And I love the detailing for the abdomen right here. All that panel lining looks great. The belt looks awesome. I love how it has like almost like hazard and warning panels and things like that that you would see on actual like spacesuits and stuff like that. I think it looks great. There's this really light, um, almost almost like a, like a grayish lavender here on the details like that. That looks really good too. The green on the boots looks really good. See, a little bit more of that like grayish lavender on there. Two-tone green in there. That's just great detailing. The bottom of the feet look awesome. Love the way this all looks. The back here looks good. Really good. Uh, you got those hazard stripes like that looking really nice too. You got the number two and the light ear printed right on there. I mean, that looks killer, dude. Same thing on the side of the arms right here. Really nice detailing. Got that logo with the Star Command 01. Uh, so I'm really not sure why it says 01 here and then 02 here. Um, I'm not sure really sure what those mean. Got some red detailing on there on this side. Really nice logo right there. Looking super good, yellow purpling on those circle panels right here for where his, uh, you know, his his dome would come off, his Mysterio dome would come up, a space helmet, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, man, oh my God, this thing is incredible. You know, and I I don't know if there's gonna be another Buzz Lightyear to beat this anytime soon. I know there, um, I know what is it? Uh, Hot Toys is making a Buzz Lightyear like this, so that might be pretty cool. But that's a little too big for me. I'm not really a huge on the uh, 12 inch figures but oh my god dude this thing is just a gorgeous looking piece so moving on to the accessories now uh we do get this little cradle accessory piece right here um this is going to be for plugging into an sh figuart stand um now this is cool and it, it is definitely going to help uh, how it would work the arms would open up here and you would just have to like cradle it 
to his back like that. And you'll see how this kind of like slides into there and then get the little C-clamp and kind of wrap it in there. And you can see how it holds up pretty good just by that piece. Um, my, my biggest issue with this is, um, and though I love this, why didn't they just include a freaking stand with this guy? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like you have to go out and buy another stand if you don't already have one uh, and these aren't really compatible with other stands from other lines um, So I mean how much could it really have cost them to just include a freaking figure art stand with this guy? A lot of other companies do it like you know Revel Tech and Mafex all that They include stands with almost all their figures I mean, I don't see why figure arts wouldn't just include a stand especially if they're gonna give us this piece like that by itself It's it's kind of ridiculous honestly we also, of course, do get interchangeable hands here, so we do got a pair of closed-fisted hands like so. Uh, we do get a pair of open palm hands, one for each side. We also do get finger-pointing hands like this, one for each side. Uh, and then we do get a set of trigger finger hands or gripping hands, one for each side. Uh, and now, these actually work out pretty easily. They're pretty much standard for SH figure arts. You got that simple little figure arts ball peg like so. Uh, we can go ahead and take a hand like that pop that on like so. So we'll put a, a holding hand like that or a gripping hand on that side. And let's take this side and we'll put more of a uh, open palm hand on that side like that to mix it up a bit. And those work out really, really nice. We also do get an interchangeable head sculpt, which is really nice. Uh, so this is gonna pop off at the base of the neck, just like that. You'll see the ball peg deep inside there like so. And we're gonna take in this head and pop that on right here. And we got a more unmasked or uncowled head like that, which I think, again, looks really good. His eyes look great. The brow looks great. He's a little bit of a smirk going on there. It looks really good, too. The hair looks really, really awesome. So if you want that option without the cowl, uh, I think that's super dope. And just a good, really good option. I'm never going to complain about more heads and things like that. I am always love having uh, the options. But, of course, for me, I'm going to have this one on right there, which, again, is going to work out really, really nicely. Uh, he also does come with the visor piece or the little dome for the little space dome so he can actually breathe in space. This is really nice too. Uh, how this is going to work, you're actually going to have to take this head off. And on the sides here, there's these little, little silver coin pieces like that. Those are going to pop right off. You just slide those off like that. And you're going to want to take the head, pop the head back on like so. And then slide that on there like that. And then now you have the dome coming up like this. I kind of wish it could retract, but of course that's not going to really be a big thing this is going to be able to do. But it still looks really cool. Uh, my fingerprints have been getting all over it like crazy, so you got to really keep it clean. But still, I think that works out very well, man. I love how they did that. It totally has his Mysterio going on. Now moving on to some weapons here, we do got this like pistol-like weapon that he came with, looks really cool. Done in a simple black and white, but I love that. I love how it's kind of like small and stocky. I think it's really cool. Has almost like a laser sight or a, a light, a flashlight thing going on right there. So it's really cool. Just done in a simple black and white. Uh, and again, he can be held in that gripping hand very, very nicely. Just pop it on like so. And that works out very well. So I dig how that turned out. What's really cool, also, for this particular accessory, um, we have a little panel right here on the side of the leg that you can pop out. Uh, it's a little tricky with your bare hands, so if you have like a tool, a small little screwdriver, or maybe a really sharp knife, just be very careful. Uh, you can pop out that little panel right there, and it's just a separate little panel that you can pop off like that, and you'll see a little port right there. You could take this little clip piece that comes with the figure like that, and you're gonna kind of just match the shape right there, pop that on like that. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and take that pistol, and we're gonna kind of just slide this and push it on like that, give it a little push down, and now you have a place to holster the pistol at his side like that, which I think is super cool, man. I love how they did that. Now that's gonna bring us on to his lightsaber. And oh my God, he totally just face planted. Are you okay? Oh my God, he face planted. Anyways, uh, Homeboy does come with a lightsaber <clears throat> as he totally rocked this lightsaber in the, the movie, which I think is super cool. I love, this is a more, almost more practical type of lightsaber, but I love the, the design here. The, the colors look gray, some different tones of gray, some white, this translucent blue plastic for the heated blade itself. I think again, it's just super cool. You can see it does have a trigger because that's how he ignites it. Uh, and again, can be held in that gripping hand just like so in either of the gripping hands. And he holds on to that very well. Is so I, th I think this just is just so cool. I love that he came with a type of melee weapon. And that looks great with that translucent blue, man. So I love that a lot. So same thing, much like the gun here. 
we're gonna turn this figure around and where this little red strip is like that, that's another panel. Again, you could just pull this off like that and we're gonna pull off that little piece and you're gonna see another port back there. What this is gonna be for, it comes with this piece as a replacement piece that's so gonna fill in the gap like so and this is gonna be a place where you could store his lightsaber like that. And I keep calling it a lightsaber. I'm pretty sure it has a different name, but it's a lightsaber to me, damn it. Um, and then you can hold the saber on the back like that. Again, that's freaking cool, man. I love that they included that. I mean, holy crap. Is this not just a badass Buzz Lightyear? Seriously, I'm freaking out about how much I am loving this. So that is just a very, very cool option. And for his final weapon of here, of course, we get his laser beam, which I think is rad. This is actually a separate type of weapon, um, and it was like this in the movie, too. I'm surprised it just didn't pop out of his, like, arm, his forearm guard or something like that, you know what I mean? But it is a different weapon. Uh, it's more like an detachment here, and it looks really good. I uh, love the little, almost like, screen right there, and the laser all looks really, really nice. And you see it does have a little strap just like that. Uh, if you do have the fisted hand on here... You can just take this and slide it on right there. This should kind of pretty much be a snug fit. Uh, it'll just push it on there tight enough and it'll fit pretty nicely. And you can get him posed shooting his laser beam. Uh, if you have one of the other hands, like the open palm hands or that, you're going to have to take that hand off and then slide it on. But if you just have the fist on there, it'll slide on there just like that. And how cool, again, just how cool does he look armored up, dude, with all his gear? I think that is so cool. I'm kind of giddy over this figure. Now for the last accessory, of course we have to get his jetpacks, man, because Buzz Lightyear totally flies, man. So this looks great. I love the detail on this whole thing. Got this little tank up here with the wires coming through and the tanks going down here. I love the different like almost metallic grayish blue right here we get for the actual exhaust pipes like that. I think it's really good too. You can see the folded in wings looking very cool. Uh, and these little straps kind of, kind of connect to his fig the figure itself or the body, I should say, it looks really nice too. How this is going to work. Um, you do have to take this piece off if you want to, the little panel like so, and you're going to use that same port. Uh, the backpack itself does have a little peg on there like so, and you're just going to plug that in, and that'll hold into place like that. And I kind of wish you could keep the sword on there with the jetpack, you know what I mean? That would have been my perfect uh, way to display that, but that works out really cool. And see, it's pretty bulky, um, but it works out very, very nicely. The same thing with this figure, this piece right here. Uh, this little circle piece right here in the middle uh, can be removed. It's a little tricky and I feel like I'm gonna chop it up. So I better go from the bottom there and plug it off, pull it off, like, excuse me, pull it off like that. Um, it does have a little hole in there. So if you wanna plug that to a flight stand, you could do so like that. Uh, and again, I tried to see if maybe I could port this into there and it doesn't fit, <laughs> that, that hole's too small for that actual peg. So it is what it is, uh, but you could just take that back there and use that like so. But what's also really nice here, uh, these wing pieces will come off like that. They just slide right off those little, little slots right in there. And you can port in some fully extended wings like that. Take that one right there and that one right there. And we're going to plug it back on like so. And there you go. There you have him with his fully extended wings, totally ready to fly, man. And I love the way that looks. Again, you got the hazard stripes right there for the wings looking really good. You got this really nice metallic green and metallic red for the lights. I kind of wish those were translucent plastic, kind of. Um, but it's not terrible because the, the metallic uh, green and red, they still look like they're kind of glowing, especially when they hit lights. It looks like they're like illuminating, you know what I mean? So I think that just looks super cool. Get them in a really cool flight pose. I mean, this thing is just so much fun, man. Such, again... Such a great figure. I can't believe how much fun I'm having with this. So now moving on to the articulation here, and it's, it actually works out pretty pretty well. Um, the head and the neck are on ball pegs, so they get roll, do, uh, roll around separately and independently just like that. Get a lot of good motion there. Up all the way to that far, so the back of the head almost hits the collar piece right here. Down that much, which again, again works out really nicely. Pivot side to side, and of course turn left and right. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna do when you're using the uh, dome here, you're gonna wanna like position the head in a way first before you even put the dome on. So like, if you wanna look up in a flying pose like that and then take the dome and put it on like that, that's how you're gonna have to get him in those flying positions. But I think that works out very, very nicely. So that works out good. 
Uh, these shoulder pads are on independent little joints. They're on a little uh, cylinder uh, disc hinge like that, as well as a ball peg connecting them to the actual shoulder. Uh, so that works very nicely. Those really get out of the way if you wanna move those around tuck them in if you need to uh, really do whatever you need to do we do get a type of a ball peg inside there that works almost like a butterfly joint so you get a lot of good motion in that shoulder just like that we can rotate up there as well so that works out really good we got a nice curved band a double band right there at the elbow and that flows really nicely i love how the elbow pad is connected to that joint there so it kind of fills in the gap so it doesn't look so awkward i think that's really nice uh, rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist you can pull these down uh, all the way down like that to get those arms all the way up like that. So that's really cool. So again, that works out great, man. The engineering on this is really, really nice. We do get a double ball peg in the midsection that goes one down into the crotch area and one into his upper torso. So you get a lot of good rotation just like that. Rolls all the way around, does turn left and right, goes back about that far, crunches forward all the way that much. That works out very nicely. We got uh, joints at the hip that kick forward that far back about that much that works out really nicely can do the splits all the way that far that's actually really good rotation in the upper thigh same thing with the elbows the knees bend just like that a nice curvature to them uh the kneecap right there covers that bend so it doesn't look as awkward uh so i think that actually works out very very nicely the ankles are really nice because these do have a pull down feature to get them out of this big cup area so you can pull those down and then you have a really nice up and down, back and forth like so. Uh, we do get a nice ankle rocker like that, really good pivot. Uh, we also do get toe articulation. That's something I kind of didn't really expect, so that works out really cool too. Um, so you can pretty much do anything you want with this guy. But I think what really helps, and I'm gonna point this out here, um, this guy feels fairly lightweight, and that is because he's pretty hollow. I'm gonna bring in another SH Figuarts figure, being Bruce Lee. Uh, this Fun fact, this is actually the first action figure I ever reviewed on my channel here, so a little bit of bat bomb history for you. Uh, as you can see, Buzz Lightyear here is a lot bigger and bulkier than Bruce Lee, but these are pretty much the exact same weight. He's a very solid piece. He is very hollow here in like the torso. There's a lot of gapping in here. Like all stuff like that, even throughout the legs, these feel more hollow. Um, which again doesn't feel cheap because the plastic still feels really nice. I don't feel like I'm gonna break it or anything whatsoever. Uh, but of course, he's a big, bulkier figure. Uh, they made him a little hollow to give us a little less plastic. I get that. Um, but also, I think it helps for articulation because the articulation works very nicely, and you need all that space inside the body to maneuver some of those joints. So I think that really, really uh, works to its benefit that it's actually a little hollow. So overall, man, holy crap, this might be a contender for one of the figures of the year because I'm just so happy with this. Again, this is something I've been wanting uh, since, I, so since I was younger when the first Toy Story movies came out. And I always run a really just super detailed, super articulated, updated version of Buzz Lightyear. And we finally have it in this SH Figuarts one. And it does not disappoint. He comes with everything that you would want and more. The details are great. The sculpt and paint are awesome. I just absolutely love this action figure. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and Mafex Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a XH Figuarts Bruce Lee and Star Wars The Black Series Boba Fett. And is it just me or has anyone else wanted to see Buzz Lightyear throw down with Boba Fett? I just think that would be a really cool fight. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the SH Figuarts Buzz Lightyear Alpha Suit. And honestly, I hope we get more suits in this line because I would totally buy them all. 
but this figure itself is gorgeous. The sculpt and the paint are almost perfect. I love the detail of the little name tags and numbers and little hazard warning signs all over the place. That really adds to the detail of this entire figure. Even things like the rosy cheeks look great. I love the unhelmeted or unmasked head, whatever you want to call it, with the hair. Looks super good. All of his accessories are amazing. I love the jetpack with the uh, attachment wings. I think those are great. Again, I do wish those lights might have been a, a translucent plastic, but the metallic looks really good too. Also wish they were a little bit longer, but I think it's more of a personal preference. I love his different weapons like the blaster, the laser attachment, and his lightsaber with that translucent blue plastic. Oh my god, I love that thing so, so much. I also love that you can actually holster a majority of those weapons on there. That's a big plus for me when it comes to any action figure when they can hold or holster most, if not all, of their weapons and accessories. I think that's just super cool to me. The articulation works very, very well. Uh, the ankles could be a little finicky with that pull-down feature, and I wish it was a little bit more of an ankle rocker. The shoulder pads can kind of hinder articulation here and there, but luckily they're on that ball-like hinge where you can maneuver them out of the way, uh, but they still work out very, very nicely. Everything about this figure is just so much fun. Uh, the only real big complaint I would say is that I wish they just included a freaking stand. Why not? You gave us the attachment, just give us a stand. It couldn't have cost them that much more. But again, the figure itself is a masterpiece in my opinion, and honestly, might be a contender for figure of the year year. That's how much I love this thing. He is awesome, he's truly badass, and something I've wanted for a very long time, and he is definitely a must get. So be excellent to each other, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.